Hello. This is my 32 foot fifth wheel 2018 man cave. This ramp is seven feet tall. So the opening is seven feet tall. To the cabinets, file cabinets is 11 feet. To the bottom drawer there, handle is six feet. So the garage area would be six feet by 11. The ceiling here is eight feet. You have a vent, come down, lots of lighting. You have a ha hooks for your clothesline. And there are the hooks on the other side. Uh, the other door, magic shaft microwave. The stove is out of an appliance store. It's much larger than your average RV stove. The broiler is up underneath in the top of the oven and the drawer is a storage drawer. There is magnets on the side. The brown is the register inlet for the furnace. The book and the manual underneath it. The manual is for the Onan generator. The book has all the brochures, uh, pamphlets, everything for all the components on this RV, the stove, the refrigerator, the hot water heater, the furnace, all the microwave, the air conditioners, everything's in that book. The remotes are for the fan, the radio, and the air conditioner. The sink is six feet long. The aprons are 18 inches each. And there is some magnet, uh, magnetic uh, for your utilities there. Got your pre-rinse. All the windows have sun shading. They open, they have screening, and they have curtains. Um, the tubs on the sink are 18 inches by 18 inches by 12 inches deep. A lot of people, especially the women, they love this sink. It's like, oh my gosh. There's plenty of cabinet space, plenty of storage space. Over here is the controls for your tank uh, metering. You're turning on your 12 volt pump, your hot water heater, electric and gas, and turning off and on and running your generator now has 111 hours in it. There's some heater duct work, your um, carbon monoxide and your propane sensors uh, coming underneath the sink here. Oh my, look how clean that is. That's your 10 gallon hot water heater. The yellow valve right here is for turning your propane off. There is a propane valve for the furnace, for the hot water heater and the stove. So you can turn each one off individually so you don't have to turn the whole system off. Same as the water. This clear line here is your inlet to your fresh water tanks. And you can go either city water there or there's a valve there. And you can filter all your water coming into the RV through the two filters or not. Your choice. There is a regulator and then also another valve so you can go city water or you can go your 12 volt pump. It's all set up very nicely, uh, dual, so you can go city water. You can filter your city water or not filter your city water if you don't choose not to. And then all the water coming into the RV is filtered. Okay, so look at the nice clean installation. All this RV has all been updated. You'll notice there's uh, four inch dryer ducting for the furnace. There's none of the uh, accordion aluminum uh, flimsy that you can't clean and, and it's very difficult. So this whole RV, the water valves are f at each of the water stations, the two sinks, the toilets, the shower, they all have their own ball valves so you can shut the water off individually. You don't have to shut it off at the whole system when you have one little leak. Okie dokie. This, uh, the whole RV is like that. Everything has just been gone through, updated, made easy, accessible, taking all the bugs out. The refrigerator is a Frigidaire 4.5 cubic feet dual door. 
The fan is 46 inch with the light in the middle. That's variable speed, medium, low, and high. The air conditioning is a 12,000 BTU heating and air conditioning. The uh, more cabinet space, the uh, 1947 uh, uh, lunchbox, which houses the stereo, the 12 volt stereo. It's a Nakamichi 101 and it has everything but Bluetooth. There is a remote for it. Let's walk on back this into the hallway when we come into the hallway we have a door on the right the second door they have a half bath which has a stack washer and dryer in it there is plenty of storage above the washer and dryer there is storage above the cabinet there is storage underneath the washer and dryer there are file cabinets there there is the second toilet and there's another duct work for the furnace Another cabinet, plenty of um, towel rack, mirrors. All the windows have the sunshade on them. They all open with screens. There is a medicine cabinet over here. Very nice medicine cabinet. All the kitchen, all the uh, bathroom sinks are stainless steel. They're large. Uh, you have your electrical panel, which has your uh, converter also for your 12 volts so there's more storage space more um, towel rack and uh, this ceiling here is eight feet the same as in the kitchen also you have a vent and it has a fan on it okie dokie plenty of lighting throughout plenty of room and your other door at the bottom of the steps is your register for your furnace. Uh, there are plenty of, lots of, of ventilation of moving the furnace and heat your thermostat. We come at the end, this is into the door, this into the bedroom. There are three doors in this little area right here. One door for the bedroom, one door for the bathroom. And when you're in the bathroom, there is another door that separates the bathroom from the bedroom. So there is uh, the bathroom privacy. And you can have the bathroom bedroom privacy. Here we have one other mirror, more towel rack. Same thing, sun shaded window, screen opening. Nice medicine cabinet that is all metal. Stitches for your light and your fan in the shower the shower is 36 inches by 36 inches just a rather large shower um the ceiling height here in the bathroom is six foot seven and as you can tell there is plenty of room in the bathroom also um i'm six foot one and I wanted a lot of room and I didn't want to feel uh, confined or in a small space. So that's the quick tour. Uh, I am six foot one and the ceiling here in the bedroom is six foot. Um, hope I've covered everything, but ask questions if you'd like. Thank you.